Let's look into how to navigate your new website's dashboard after you successfully log in to learn exactly how to make edits to your website. First, from the dashboard, click on your Posts tab. After clicking, you'll see all of your blog posts. From here, you can make edits to a specific post or remove a specific post. Next, navigate to the Media tab. From here, you have access to all photos and videos used on your website. To add new media, click the Add New button at the top, click Select Files, and then locate the file you want to upload on your computer's hard drive. This will add that photo or video into the media library where you can then add it to your website, which we will cover the process of in another tutorial. Next, click on your Pages tab. This will show you all of the specific pages that make up your website, giving you the option to edit each page individually. Now let's navigate to the Projects tab. This is where your portfolio and any events pages will be located when using the Engage template for your website. Next, let's look at your profile. Click on the Profile tab, and here you will see all of your information. You can change your email, as well as change or create your own password, which we recommend. After you make any edits you want saved, make sure you click the Update Profile button at the bottom before leaving the page. After you have completed making edits, click the Home tab at the top left of your website and click Visit Site to view your edits. If you want to head back into the dashboard, click it again at the top left of your screen and click Dashboard. If you're having any issues or questions with your website, navigate to the Customer Support Portal located in your Client Dashboard, which you've received a link to in your confirmation emails. A link can also be found at the bottom of our website.